In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn any color into black or white inside Photo P. So I'm going to show you two techniques on how you can do this. So the first technique is the easiest and probably most common way that you can change colors in Photo P. And that's by using a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So you just want to go over to this icon over here, which is half white and half black. And this is called the adjustment layer. So just click that and click hue and saturation. And you want to go over to master and you want to click whatever color your object that you want to change to black or white is. So since I have a red object, I'm going to click red. So let's just say you have a color that isn't on here. For example, orange. So if that is the case, you want to figure out if your orange is more towards the red or yellow side. So if it's towards the yellow side, just click yellow. And then you can just adjust the slider to that orange area, just like that. So I'm just going to um, reset it back to red. And if you want to change your color to white, just move the slider up. And if you want to change your color to black, you can just move the slider down. But you can also see that it's also affecting our background. And that's not what we want. So if you're having the same problem, um, I'm just going to quickly show you on how you can fix this. So just click this um, properties tab over here to close this menu. And make sure you have your hue and saturation layer selected on this um, white layer. Go over to your paintbrush tool and you want to make sure that your colors are set to black and white. If they're not set to black and white, you can just press D on your keyboard to reset those colors. And to swap in between the first and second colors, you can just press X on your keyboard. And to make your brush bigger, you can hold down the, left, um, the right bracket. And to make your brush smaller, you can hold down the left bracket and just paint over those areas just like that. But if you accidentally go over your object, I mean, you can just press X on your keyboard or you can just press this tiny little arrow and make sure that your brush is white and just paint back those areas. So basically black um, takes away areas while white brings back areas. So I hope you guys enjoy today's tutorial. Bye! So since our image isn't as bright as our previous image, this might be a bit harder to change the colour to a white or black. So you just want to select your image that you want to change the colour to white or black. So um, you can use any tool that you want to select your object. You can use the pen tool, the magic wand tool, the lasso select tool, you can use whatever. But um, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration on how you can do this with um, the quick selection tool. So you want to go over to this icon over here that looks like a wand. Right click that and click quick selection. Left click on your object and photo P um, will automatically um, select those areas. But as you can see there are still areas that Photo P hasn't selected and to select those areas you just want to hold down left click and just drag on those areas just like this. But as you can see Photo P has um, selected my whole entire canvas when I tried to select this area because Photo P doesn't recognize that I'm trying to select that bit so it automatically selects the whole canvas since um, this bit is darker. So um, if you want to add stuff to your selection that Photo P isn't going to allow you to, you can use the lasso select tool by going over to this icon. And to add stuff to your selection, make sure that your cursor is across. Hold down shift on your keyboard and just go over those areas just like this. I'm just going to do a really rough selection and connect it with that point and just like that. But if you want to take away areas um, from your selection that Photo P has added to your selection that you don't want to be added into your selection, like these areas right here, you can hold down Alt on your keyboard and just drag just like this and connect it with that point. Just like that. So you can take as long as you want with your selection. But um, once you're happy with your selection, you can press Ctrl J on your keyboard or you can just right click that layer and press Duplicate Layer. And you make sure you have your top layer selected and go over to this icon over here, which is called the raster mask. So just click that. And you can see our selection has disappeared, but we have this layer over here. So if I just hide on my second layer by clicking this eye, our selection is right over here. So basically um, our second layer is going to be our background layer. Well, our first layer, the layer of the mask is going to be our um, car layer which we are going to change the color to black or white. 
so um i have already made my selection over here so i've um made it more perfect than it was um before so um once you're happy with it and everything like that make sure you select your top layer so the layer with your mask and press ctrl g on your keyboard and click pass through and click normal and you can rename your folder if you want just by double clicking on that folder name and i'm just going to rename it to car color and click on um, your car layer and go over to the new adjustment layer and click black and white and our car has changed colors so now you can adjust the sliders depending if you want your object to be black or white so I'm gonna make mine white so I'm gonna move the red up just like this but make sure you make it um, realistic so I'm just gonna make it just like this but as you can see, um, our image isn't that bright, but we do have this very bright bit over here. So um, to fix this, you can add a, a more adjustment layers. So you can just go over to the new adjustment layer again, and you can add like levels, um, which you can just mess around with the levels. But I'm just going to delete that. But one I do recommend is use curves. So yeah, you can just mess around um, with this stuff. To make it look realistic so um, i hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial bye